Now, see, I believe that this whole game, life, consciousness, creation, it's all this crazy, wild game of mirrors. This magical, mystical, holographic game of mirrors all through life. And if we're just looking at the outside world, we see all kinds of mirrors all around us that are reflecting back to us things that are going on inside of our own consciousness. In fact, I believe all of creation is reflecting consciousness. If you look at our world today, it's a reflection of what's going on on a larger scale in mass consciousness. If you look into your world, your own personal life experience, it's a reflection of what's going on in your consciousness. In fact, our thoughts are actually defining the intention of what we want to create, what we're saying to the universe that I want to create, I want to have inside of my experience. So it's important to look at the thoughts because they are the revelation of your own self-station. There's paradigms and beliefs and things going on about how we see ourselves, how we see the world, how we see other people that are defining what type of experience we have or how we show up and relate with our world. And then our emotional realm, our emotional realm is all about energy. It's showing us what type of energy we're bringing into the world, what, what we're communicating energetically to the world around us. It's also cluing us in to our thoughts and where they are in relationship to the orientation, to the world, to other people, to ourselves. I'm creating my experience. And I take responsibility for that. If it happens to me, it's because I called it forth. And how do I know what it is that I'm calling forth? I look at my thoughts and feelings, and I gain understanding through that. Where are my thoughts? Where are my feelings? What's going on inside me right now? And where's my orientation? Am I living out of separation? and seeing the world through that view? Or am I living out of connection and oneness and seeing that? Am I in judgment? Or am I in love, compassionate understanding? It's all right there, encoded within our thoughts and feelings. We can look in and intuit into our feelings to have a sense of knowing of what's going on inside of us. We can look at our thoughts and find out what's driving our perception of how we see ourselves in our world. When I see something in somebody else, that's a reflection too. And depending on how I feel about it, it has nothing to do with that other person. It has to do with what's going on inside here, in me, in my heart, and my mind. And that's where I want to do my double check. Take a moment's pause. Get clear in here, then whatever you bring forth will be clear and land out there. What I'm saying is we have the power, each one of us, to wake up, step up, get conscious, get intentional with what's already going on anyway. We're already doing this. We're just unconscious of it most of the time. So take a moment's pause. Double check yourself. Where am I at? And then look at the intersect. What am I responding to? What's already there and what I see is missing? Or what could be there and what I see is possible? And then bring it all back home. Because the greatest teachers and masters have told us the universe lives inside of ourselves. So when you change what's going on inside of you, well, you get to be a different example in the world and the world changes around you in response.